MC Sean recently defended Eminem against accusations of cultural appropriation, highlighting Eminem's support for black artists and his presence in Detroit's hip-hop scene. Sean criticized those who dismiss Eminem's credibility as a rapper because of his race, emphasizing Eminem's authenticity and contributions to the genre. Sean addressed the narrative of Eminem being a culture vulture, arguing that Eminem's experiences and actions prove otherwise. He cited Eminem's immersion in the hip-hop community and his willingness to confront danger for his craft, challenging critics who question his status as one of the greatest rappers due to his race. This defense came in response to previous criticism from Dr. Umar Johnson, who questioned Eminem's credibility. Nazan and Roy, in a discussion with Ebro, touched on various hip-hop topics, sharing experiences in the industry and reflecting on Eminem's influence and mentorship. Royce highlighted his learning journey in communication and business from Eminem, recounting how Eminem pushed him into the business side despite initially focusing solely on rapping. Nazan discussed his evolving relationship with Eminem, emphasizing Eminem's support in his own process of self-discovery. In an interview with DJ Vault, the game discussed the Eminem vs. Machine Gun Kelly beef, expressing respect for Eminem's legendary status but giving the edge to Machine Gun Kelly in terms of skill during the feud. Despite acknowledging Eminem's historical greatness, the game felt that Machine Gun Kelly's rap devil showcased impressive lyrical ability. He emphasized his expertise in rap beefs and confidently stated that Machine Gun Kelly won the beef, acknowledging potential disagreement from others. In an interview with Angela Yee, Royce discussed his relationship with Eminem, highlighting Eminem's accessibility for studio sessions despite his busy schedule. Royce reflected on his early career, realizing that being a good rapper isn't sufficient in the music industry, it requires mastering various skills beyond just rapping. He credited Eminem for pushing him into the industry at a young age, where he learned and developed his skills publicly. Royce acknowledged Eminem's influence in teaching him the business aspects of music, emphasizing that Marshall threw him into the business at a young age, leading him to learn and grow in the public eye. During an interview on James Corden's This Life of Mind show, Dr. Dre reminisced about his initial collaboration with Eminem, highlighting their swift creation of the hit song, Hi My Name Is. Dre described how Eminem effortlessly delivered his lines over the beat in the studio, marking the start of their successful relationship. Despite potential controversy surrounding Eminem's race, Dre boldly declared him as the greatest MC ever, asserting that no one can match his prowess on the microphone. In a recent interview with Zoom TV, Ed Sheeran expressed interest in recreating Eminem's Lose Yourself in his own style, citing the song's energy as a factor that would suit a cover. Sheeran reminisced about performing the first minute of the song during a concert with Eminem in Detroit and expressed enthusiasm for the idea of doing a full version. When asked about potentially covering Stan, another Eminem hit, Sheeran acknowledged its difficulty compared to Lose Yourself, emphasizing the latter's energetic appeal for reinterpretation. He mentioned that Stan is a difficult song to cover, while Lose Yourself has an energy that lends itself well to a cover version.